the most important thing you can do before selling your business is to clean up your financials. My name is Antho Zuek, Mr. Hyperlocal, broker associate with Bullock Russell Real Estate Services. If you make only one change to your business operations this year in preparation of selling, this should be it. Stop running your personal expenses through the business in order to get the tax write-offs and lower your taxable income. The reason you need to stop doing this is because when we go to sell your business, we recast your profit and loss statement to show what the actual cash flow of the business is and what the buyer can expect to earn. While buyers will accept you're running personal expenses through the business, the problem is that the banks that lend them money often will not. Only a portion of the personal expenses will be added back to your earnings, which affects the bank's ability to lend money for its purchase. Banks have strict requirements for the business income to expense ratio as they want to make sure the business can service its own debt while still providing a living wage to the buyer and family. Underwriting compliance for business loans will not allow for most personal expenses to be used in these calculations. Think of it this way. If you run $50,000 worth of personal expenses through your business, you'll save some money on taxes. However, if you want to sell your business for three times earnings, then you may be sacrificing $150,000 on the purchase price. Is that tax savings on the $50,000 really worth it? And while we're at it, make sure you're using a professional accountant and your financial statements are executed properly. Buyers are taking a big risk purchasing a business, and one of the biggest deal killers is a poorly presented financial statement. My name is Antho Zuek, Mr. Hyperlocal, broker associate with Bullock Russell Real Estate Services. Thanks for watching.